Now, why we're here. Um, one of the things that has happened over the years has been uh, the suicide prevention, issues with veterans coming out of the service, coming uh, uh, into the communities, and all the issues that are associated with that. And one of the things that came up back in 2012 was a pilot program called the Dwyer Program. The Dwyer Program was established to try to see if they can help veterans or actually military members transitioning into the veteran workforce or the veteran communities or any way they could help them transition that from that moment of being out at war and then boom, you're in that community. So the Dwyer Program was established and it helps these veterans do this. Well, it was such a success that now it is a New York State requirement. And what has happened now, the counties are able to get money from that. And in order to utilize that money, we are now, and myself as Veteran Services, uh, we're in conjunction with mental health. Mental health is going to assist us, myself as a Veteran Service Officer, helping veterans because they come and see me and then mental health, which I'm gonna allow Cindy to come over here, allow Asker to come over here, and explain that a little bit better. Thank you, Charlie. Um, Joseph P. Dwyer, you asked me to look him up. He was a combat me medic during the Iraqi war, came back out of the service, and didn't get the help he needed. And, and that was very unfortunate. But out of that, some good has come where every county is getting funding through the mental health clinics, <coughs> departments, to develop a peer-to-peer -peer veterans program with veterans or working with other veterans um, to deal with issues around mental health issues, depression, anxiety, PTSD. And so this money came into my department without a lot of information, so I called Charlie up and I said to him, okay, Charlie, what kind of programs can we bring to Delaware County? And so at this point, we were introduced to ClearPath, and um, I'm very impressed, and I'm sure you will be too. So here you go, Charlie. Well, without further ado, let me introduce the two people who are going to present to you. For, from ClearPath for Veterans, Jonathan Weigel and Peter Meriday. And they'll explain everything that happens with them, because they're more than just the Dwyer program. ClearPath is a much bigger organization than just wire programs. I say just, that's a big program as well. Uh, they're the ones who are going to initiate the dryer, dryer program, but they're gonna help us in many other ways as well. Thank you so much, everybody. My name is Jonathan Langland, and I'm the Regional uh, Peer Support Manager in the Southern Tier, as well as Portland County now as well. And this is Pete Meriday. He's from the Hudson Valley, so we're traveling down here today. Really excited to be here, really appreciative of your time. I want to tell you a little bit about the Joseph P. Dwyer program, and I want to tell you a little bit about ClearPath, and then I'm going to have Pete tell you a lot about our services. But I'm going to start with ClearPath. We just celebrated our 10-year anniversary just recently in June. We're so excited that 10 years we've been able to help the veterans throughout New York State. It started off in Chittenango, New York, and it started off with a really small vision from Melissa Spicer, our founder, Steve Kinney, and Melissa's sister. Melissa had a need that she saw that in the community to help veterans, to help them out, to see what she could do better to support them. And I say her small vision turned into something really big to what it is today. So it started off with the three of them. Now we're all throughout New York State now and as well into New England, the New England area up here in Boston, Massachusetts as well. And her services started off with really a lot of stuff, the dog training program. A lot of people see a lot about our great uh, service animal training program, and then it's branched out throughout the years to what we have now. And I'm not gonna steal Pete's thunder on all of our services, but I'm gonna tell you, working with ClearPath for the last five years has probably been the greatest experience of my life because Pete and myself are both veterans. You have to be a veteran to serve as a peer mentor, a peer manager in our peer programs. Now, a lot of veterans, when they get out from the military, they have trouble maybe finding their way a little bit. They still have that connection to the military. They still have that connection as a veteran, as a service member. Pete and I, along with our other peers that we have, get an opportunity to serve every day with ClearPath and throughout the communities. And it's a tremendous honor that we all take really, really seriously. And that's why we're so excited to be here today and to be able to spread the message about what ClearPath is in the Joseph P. Dwyer <coughs> program. 
talking about what Cindy and Charlie said about the Joseph P. Dwyer program, unfortunately, Mr. Dwyer did not get out of line, get, get through his issues. Unfortunately, like a lot of veterans, he suffered with mental health problems, he suffered with addiction issues, and it was he was unable to beat those issues. Thankfully, there's been so many services that have been offered and created because of Joseph Peach Dwyer and his family's commitment and the state's commitment to making sure that veterans get the services that they need. So the Joseph Peach Dwyer program started, and now you can see where it's at today. They just uh, enacted, I believe this year, 62 counties, all the counties in New York State, Joseph P. Dwyer uh, program is gonna be in each of these counties. With that comes a tremendous responsibility that's levied. How are we gonna better serve the veterans in the community? So following the legacy of the Joseph P. Dwyer program and all the things that we, we hope to do, we're really excited to be here in this community, along with Charlie, along with Cindy and everybody out here, to let, us, let them know that ClearPath is gonna be here to help. Whatever it is, whatever we can do, ClearPath is gonna be here to help the veterans in this community, to spread the need, or to spread the services that we have to help the need wherever it might be. So I'm gonna turn it over to Pete a little bit so Pete can tell you a little bit about our services because we offer a ton of great stuff that we're really excited to be able to bring to Delaware County and the other uh, communities all throughout New York State. So Pete. Thank you, John. Uh, first, I'd like to say thank you to everyone for allowing us uh, this opportunity to present to you today. Um, as John said, I'm Pete Meriday. I'm the Hudson Valley Regional Peer Support Manager with Clear Path for Veterans. Been with him about a year and a half. Uh, I cover eight counties, Orange, Ulster, Dutchess, Putnam, Rockland, Westchester, Sullivan, and now Delaware, <coughs> excuse me, along with John. Um, Clear Path for Veterans is a 10, almost 11 year old veteran service organization that provides information, programs, and resources to veterans, uh, service members, their families, and caregivers. Um, our core programming began with our inaugural program our canine program. We actually started out as Dogs to Vets in 2011. Um, our canine program right now, is, it's an outstanding program. We're very proud of it. I know I brag about it a lot. Um, we're about to be recognized by ADI, Assistance Dogs International, which is a very prestigious certification in the canine training world. Um, that's coming up very soon. Um, we, um, we provide uh, uh, Labradors, uh, English labs, American labs. So we get them through our puppy development program. Uh, at eight weeks old, they train with us for about a year and a half to two years. Um, they're matched up with a veteran who has gone through the vetting process with us, and the veteran will train with the dog for <coughs> three weeks um, before they're uh, released out, out into the world, so to speak. Um, the individual who would come to us for a canine is someone that is diagnosed with PTSD, TBI, or MST, uh, military sexual trauma, um, which also falls under the umbrella of PTS. So you have to have a diagnosis and a service-connected disability uh, in order to be qualified for our program. Um, and as I said, it's, it's, it's very successful. Uh, we get four to five new puppies every six weeks, and uh, the, the program is growing. In fact, we have a waiting list right now. So um, that's, that's our inaugural program. Uh, we, from there, we went into peer mentoring, which is what John and I are. Uh, we have peer mentors throughout New York State. We cover uh, the Southern Tier, the Hudson Valley, the North Country, Western New York, and Central New York. Um, our peers are charged, as we like to say, to walk shoulder to shoulder with our veterans in the veteran community, to be there for them, to support them in whatever their need may be. Uh, sometimes it's something as simple as just being on the phone and listening. We are not clinicians, we're not mental health specialists, so we do not act in that capacity. However, we can be there to support them, listen, uh, and certainly uh, seek uh, uh, help for them wherever that may, may be uh, needed. And oftentimes the need could be something as simple as a food need, uh, uh, employment assistance, housing assistance, very common these days, transportation, legal services, VA benefits, education. Those are a pretty good overview, that's a pretty good overview of, the, of, of much of the services that we provide or help uh, the veteran or family member with. Um, and uh, they can come to us in any number of ways. They can contact, contact us directly. Uh, they can, oftentimes they'll be through uh, another organization like the county, county uh, the veteran service officers, 
Uh, I have a relationship with the VA in the Hudson Valley, so I give referrals that way. Um, and and that's, that's frequently how uh, we would work with the, the veteran population and, and much of what we would do to support them. Um, we have a Warriors Working Program. It's an employment program. In this program, it's, it's really a, a two-way street. We work with employers to help them find qualified veterans. In fact, we will contract with an employer to kind of act as a headhunter, but in a, a, a much um, less expensive way uh, to, to self help them in their, in their um, uh, search for, for uh, qualified employees. But we'll also work with the veteran to help them find work as well. That's something that uh, we do frequently. Um, so, and, and we also offer other services. We have uh, interview skills, uh, resume writing, uh, we do career assessments, uh, all of this to help uh, the individual in his job search and basically bettering themselves. Um, we, are, we have a wellness program. Uh, our wellness program basically is, it's based out of our facility, which is in Chittenango. I don't know if that was mentioned. Uh, we have a 78-acre facility in Chittenango, New York, which is a small town 13 miles southeast of Syracuse. It's a beautiful facility. It's open to any veteran uh, or family member to come by any time. Um, and you'd be, you'd be very, very surprised at what you see there. It's a beautiful place. It's very welcoming. There's so much to offer. The, the staff is fantastic. And we'd love to have our vets come in and visit with us. Uh, we do a weekly canteen there, by the way, every Wednesday from 11 to 1, we do a lunch in there. It's free to veterans and their families. So any veteran can come by any, any Wednesday uh, to, uh, to partake in that. But anyway, the wellness program is primarily out of there. We offer services such as uh, Reiki, massage, uh, gosh, what are some of the others? I just blanked. Acupuncture. Ac acupuncture. Um, uh, free haircuts. Free haircuts, things of that nature. We, we have uh, many meetings and events are held out of that facility. Uh, the wellness program, we could also, as peers in different regions, can sponsor it, uh, events where those things are offered in, co in cooperation with community partners that would be willing to offer up their services. So, uh, but the, the facility in Chittenango is, is primarily where, where that is happening. Um, the, uh, the other programs, family support, um, uh, social engagement, um, those, th that rounds out most of what we're, we're doing at ClearPath. Uh, our, our programming reaches a very wide area. As I said, we're in, as John mentioned, we're in 34, 34, 34 counties now, and uh, that's, that's increasing. Um, and uh, we're, uh, we will have events at our facility very frequently, uh, on a regular basis, in fact, that's open to uh, veterans from all over the state. And um, we are expanding. Will hopefully be in all counties in some capacity in the next two to three years. And uh, I think that covers most of our yeah. program. We'll also bring in, too, as well, um, you know, one of the things that we like to bring in, we like to bring the canteens. We like to bring the canteens, we like to bring other events into the community. So things we'll plan out with Charlie. To, uh, Things we'll plan out, we'll talk about within the community when we find out the needs of certain things is we'll bring certain events. We like to bring our canteens, we like to partner up with the legions, with the posts, everything that's around as well to bring it out, make it available to the veterans, their families to come out, as well as other activities around the holidays, uh, you know, or other events that might be. We're doing a back to school fest up in uh, central New York here to get backpacks, school supplies out to, to, the, to the children going to school. and help them out. So we love to do those same things and we have a lot of great ideas I think that we'd like to bring into Delaware County as well. So just wanted to put that out there too. Yeah, and, and with regard to the peer support, which is obviously you know what Joseph B. Dwyer is so much about, it, we have a very experienced base of peers uh, within ClearPath. Uh, we've all been at it for at least a year and a half. John's, what, three, four years uh, now? Not five years. And so our, 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 our peers are very experienced. Uh, they're all veterans, as John said. Uh, we spend a lot of time working within the community to reach the veterans at their need. And that, that's really what it's all about. And, uh, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's been a very successful program, a very su successful venture. We have other counties that we work with Dwyer within, and uh, it's gone very well. <laughs>